Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Go Kids. Hi. Hi, kids. Please tell the children your name, teacher. My name is Teacher Joan. And I am Teacher Rispa. So, um, there's something we normally do before we start our class in Sunday school. So, Teacher Joan, who knows what we normally do? Teacher Joan, can you help us? No, I think mm -hmm. one of our children can help us. Yeah. Does anyone know the answer? I think you should just tell us. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so normally when we start class, we always start with a word of prayer. Yes, we start with a word of prayer. So let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for this beautiful day. We thank you for this chance we have to learn your word. We pray that as we do our lesson today, you will help us to understand and do what we learn. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So, Teacher Joan, hmm, after we pray, what do we normally do in our Sunday school class at the Go Kids? I know, I know, I know. Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm, one, I know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know. We normally sing a song. Sing a song. Hmm. Yeah. I've missed singing songs with you guys. Yeah. We've yeah. really missed you guys. Yeah. So, Teacher <laughs> Joan, um, do you have a song for us today? Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Which song? A very short and simple song. Mm -hmm. And it goes like this. Love God, hallelujah. Love God, amen. I remember that song. Can you do you remember the actions? Yes, yes. Can I do the actions, please? Yes. Ah, definitely. Okay, okay, okay. I think the children can also help us yes. to do the actions. Join in, join in the actions. I know you all know the song. And if you don't know it, just follow what we sing and you'll learn it. It's very simple and very fun. And we sing it to glorify God. Yes. So, love God, hallelujah. Love God, amen. Love God, hallelujah, love God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah, praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah, praise God, amen. Trust God, hallelujah, trust God, amen. Trust God, hallelujah, trust God, amen. Yay, thank you so much for doing the action wing us. Did you, were you able to get all the actions or do you, should we do it one more time? I think we can do it one more time so we can all do the actions together. Yes, yes. definitely. So can we hum it now? Yeah, we can hum. Great job, great job, everybody. Great job. Yeah, good job. Thank you for that song, Teacher Joan. Wow, that song is really, really, really nice. Okay, so um, I have a question for you Ooh. and for Ask. everybody watching at home. So there's a lesson that we did with our parents during this season. Um, I saw everywhere people saying Happy Easter. Yes, yeah, so Teacher Joan, do you know what Easter is about? I think somebody told me mm -hmm. that we go on Easter egg hunt. What is that? I don't know. I was told about an Easter egg hunt, and I was told bunnies are hiding with their eggs, and I didn't understand. Oh, okay. No, um, I don't think that's what Easter is really about. Easter, Teacher Joan, and I think you also have heard this. This is actually the real story. Okay. It's about Jesus. It's about who? Jesus. It's about Jesus. And um, it's about how Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And then after three days, say three days. Three days. Say one, two, two three. three days. After three days, Jesus came back from the dead. He resurrected. Came back from the dead? Yeah. What do you mean he came back from yeah, the dead? Yeah, so... The story that we were doing with our mom, our moms and our dads and our aunties and uncles and big sisters and big brothers at home um, was about how Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And then he was buried. And then 
after three days, he came back from the dead. So how that happened, um, I think there was a stone. I think there was a very big yeah, stone. Was I was told stone. Mm -hmm. there was mm -hmm. a very a very huge stone mm -hmm. that covered the grave. Mm. That yeah. no one, not not only one person could push it. We mm -hmm. needed many, many people wow. to push it. Yeah, that's what happened in the Bible. So, on the third day, because you said it's after three days that Jesus rose again, an angel came. Oh, there were women. There were women who were going to the place where Jesus was buried. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, when they got there, there was an angel. And an angel? Yeah, an angel. He looked like a bright light. A bright light. You know the way we can't look at the sun? When you look at the sun, you just close your eyes. Yeah. So, there were also soldiers there. So, when they saw that, they fell down. They were so shocked. They fell down and looked like they were what? dead. And then... Can you imagine seeing an angel, kids? Yeah. What would you do if you saw an angel? Mm, the women were so happy. Yeah. Even me, I'd be happy if I saw an angel. <laughs> I'd be so excited. But they were also scared at the same time. Yeah. So the angel told them, he is not here. He is risen just as he said. But that sounds so familiar, Teacher Rispa. Mm -hmm. Why does it sound familiar, Teacher John? Because mm -hmm. I think that was our memory verse for last Sunday. Ah, yes, you're right. That was our memory verse for last, last Sunday. Sunday. Yes, that is um, the, homework, the memory verse that we did with our mommies and daddies and aunties and uncles and sisters and brothers at home. And it comes from Matthew chapter 28, verse 6. Yes. Yeah. Can we say it together once again, Teacher John? Yes. Mm -hmm. Matthew, Matthew chapter, chapter 28, 28 verse 6. And it, it says, He is not here. He is risen just as he said. Ah. Mm. Say it but one more time. I think mm -hmm. I only remember the verse mm -hmm. when I have actions. Oh, you have actions first, Teacher John? Yeah. Yes, I'm ready. I definitely Please show us, have show us, actions. So. Because I'm the one who was doing actions and you were singing, so you, you do the actions and I'm saying them <laughs> now. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Okay, okay, so Matthew chapter 28, 28 verse 6, it, it says, says, He, he is, is not here, here. He, he is risen, is just as he said. said. Oh, those are nice actions. Let's do it one more time so I can also try and do it together with you. Okay. Matthew, Matthew chapter, chapter 28, 28 verse 6, it says, He is not here. here. He is risen just as he said. Wow, that's a nice memory of us, John. Did everyone there get it? It was very, very easy. Yeah, it was. It really was. So we did one more time? The last time. Okay, okay. Matthew chapter, chapter 28, 28, verse 6, it, it says, He is not here. here. He, he is risen just as he, he said. said. Okay. So, John, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. What do you learn about Jesus from that memory verse? We know it's the angel who was talking to the women, but he was talking about Jesus. What do you learn? That Jesus knows everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that's a really, really good lesson. So, for me, I learned that Jesus had told them that he was going to die and then he was going to rise again. So the angel was telling them that Jesus, the things he said, they happened exactly the way he had told them. Exactly the way he, he had, had told, told them. them. Mm. So that means that we can trust Jesus. When Jesus says something, we can trust, trust him, him. Because it means it's going to happen exactly the way he, he has said, said it. it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> mm, yeah. I really, really love that memory verse, John. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, today we have our Bible lesson, and it's still from the book of Matthew. We want to tell you what happened after Jesus died, and he rose again. After okay. Jesus died, and, and then he rose, rose again. again. So, what happened is, um, Jesus appeared to his disciples, and before I tell you what happened, we have to read from the Bible. You remember even in class, we normally... Tell, uh, we read what happened in the Bible and then we tell you the story after. Yes. So that's exactly what we're going to do 
but today. we do it so much with so much energy and so much fun and yeah. even we use the song do you remember the song we normally sing please remind me i think it went my bible no teacher john it's not time for my bible no. yet we are doing the bible story and then my bible i've also really missed that song yeah I yeah think. so let me read and then i tell them what jesus told the disciples and then we'll do my bible okay okay okay, okay. so we are reading from the book matthew chapter 28 verse 16 up to verse 20 matthew chapter 28 verse 16 up to verse 20. 20 if you have a bible near you you can take it and if you know how to read you can read along with us or if you still don't know how to read tell mommy or daddy or someone who's older than you who's there who knows how to read to take the bible so we can read together okay so it says then the 11 disciples went to galilee to the mountain where jesus had told them to go when they saw him they worshiped him but some doubted then jesus came to them and said all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me therefore go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit and teaching them to obey everything i have commanded you and surely i am with you always to the very end of the age So that's our Bible reading for today teacher John. So from that Bible reading we see that Jesus before oh after he resurrected he came back from the dead he went back to heaven he's not here with us today he went back to heaven but before he went to heaven he gave them something to do. Teacher John say he gave them something to do. He gave them something to do. So he gave them something to do like you know the way you are given homework in school so Jesus gave them and us because we are also followers of Jesus he gave them something to do he told them to go to the world and make disciples he told them to do what he told he told them to go into the world mm-hmm. and make disciples yeah so that's the end of our story for today so that is what Jesus told his disciples and us as people who follow him to do after He rose from the dead and before he went back to heaven he told us to go to the world and make disciples. So, Teacher Joe, and there's a song you are excited to It's sing. It's time for my song now. Yes. My Bible, my mm. Bible. Wait, 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 wait. Sure you keep stopping no, me. No, I'm sorry. I wanted you to tell us. We usually sing that song before what happens. normally mm-hmm. we normally sing it when we are about to learn the new memory verse ah so it's our song for the memory verse yeah okay okay you can go ahead my bible i bible and i my bible my bible and i oh what a wonderful bible that god gave without measure we are traveling together my bible and i my bible my bible and i oh, oh, oh what a wonderful bible that god gave without measure we are traveling together My Bible and I. Oh, well, thank you to Charisse for letting me sing our song. Okay. And so today, mm-hmm. I also have two questions. Can you count with me? One, One and two. two. No, no, teacher John, I'm sorry. You know, I, you've said I keep interrupting you, but I thought uh-huh. after we sing my Bible, we usually say the memory verse and then we do the homework. So today I wanted the memory verse mm-hmm. to be a clue. Who knows what a clue is? Oh. Yeah. So we did our Bible reading from mm-hmm. Matthew chapter 28. Mm-hmm. And we wanted you guys to work with your parents, with your aunties or with even your siblings to find out where the answers to our question uh, okay. through okay. our Bible teaching. Okay. Yes. So we have two questions. Okay. The first question is Who 
is a disciple. Can I say it again? Mm -hmm. To Cherise, but did you hear me? Yes. Can you say it with me? Who is a disciple? So that's our first question. And mm -hmm. our second question is, mm -hmm. what does a, does a disciple do? Mm. What does a disciple do? Yes. Ah, okay. So those are our two questions mm -hmm. that we'd like you to comment mm -hmm. uh, as a video, please, to know to, the answers to our questions. Yes, you can write your answer on the comment section. And then, Shajwan, you said something about a clue. Mm -hmm. So make sure you refer to the Bible reading for today, Matthew chapter 28. Okay, okay. We read verse what to what? We read, um, we read from verse uh, 16 up to verse 20. So the answer is there somewhere. So you find it and then you write. And then next week, next time when we come, we are going to read some of your answers out loud, and then we see whether you got uh, got it right. So, Teacher John, can you repeat the questions one last time so they can get it? Yes, I mm -hmm, can repeat mm -hmm. the questions. So, mm -hmm. the question one was, who is a disciple? Who is a disciple, okay. And then question two is, what does a disciple do? Okay, okay. So, is that the end of our lesson for today? Yes, Teacher Rispa. Okay. Bye, kids. It was really nice having you. Bye. See you next Sunday. Bye. Bye. See you next Sunday.